Go, rah, yard sale show. Hi, it's Auntie K, Yard Sales Arena, here with Uncle Vinti, the Vintage Toolman, with the Yard Sale Show for February 2012. Yay! <laughs> well, you might be wondering why I'm doing a cheer. Well, I found this really cool cheerleader champion jacket at the Goodwill. I paid $12 for it. It's a kid's size, but it fits me, and I like it. What are you saying? You can turn around so you can see the back. Oh, Uncle Vinny wants me to turn around so you can see the back again. How about that? That's it. That's very cool. In fact, I was at a restaurant the other night, and this was hanging on the back of my chair. A gentleman stopped and asked me where I was a champion, what state. I should have made up a story, but I told him the truth. Okay, so what did we find this, this month, actually? This is the last few weeks in January. A number of items came from Goodwill. Uh, I'll start with this one. This one I paid a couple of dollars for. We're not actually sure what it is. It's made out of metal. It looks like it was made for scooping something, but we don't know if it's really an antique or if it's some kind of reproduction or something, but we liked it, and for two bucks I bought it. I also bought this thing, which we think is a what's it? What's that made out of? Cast iron. It's cast iron, but it's got a weird texture to it. It's not very smooth texture. It's a rough texture. It does have some little nubs on the bottom, like it's supposed to sit on something, but then it's got this metal handle on the top. I didn't know what it was. I figured Uncle Vinti would, but he doesn't. So if you guys have any idea of what this kind of great looking thing goes to, let me know. Um, I'm gonna bounce around because it's gonna be too difficult for me to try to keep all the goodwill things in one, uh, in one part of the show. But if you look here, this is a really nice antique kettle. I paid eight bucks for it. This is a gorgeous cast iron fire starter container. It doesn't have the actual fire starter wand in there, but I actually have some extra of those. I paid $8 for that also. That was at a, an, an estate sale. And we remember this estate sale because Uncle Vinti shook a bottle of oil and the lid wasn't on there tightly and the oil went everywhere, including all over Uncle Vinti. So we will always remember that uh, estate sale. This is a brass uh, planter. It's really heavy, pretty heavy brass. I think I paid, what, a buck or two for that mm -hmm. at, at an estate sale. Let me put this down. At the Goodwill, they had these really neat pewter mugs. They were $2 each, so I got them. There were three of those. Um, at an estate sale, I don't know, you probably can't see this, let me move as we go. Look at this thing, it looks flat, and then you go like this, you lock it in place, and it's a little basket. Did I do it correctly? Close enough. Well, it, it, it comes up correctly. There, that's fine. Is that good? Okay. I paid eight dollars for that. I don't think it's worth much more than ten, but I thought it was kind of cute, and I'm going to put something in there. Um, at the spilled oil <laughs> uh, estate sale, we got this. What do you call it? Candle snuffer. Snuff. Mm -hmm. Snuffer for a, a buck. At that same estate sale, this is beautiful McCoy pitcher and the bottom bowl with it. I would say this is vintage, not antique. I paid five dollars for it. At another uh, estate sale run by Chesapeake Estate Company, uh, this is an antique pitcher. It's beautiful. It doesn't have any chips in it. Six dollars for that. I thought that was a great deal. This white thing, um, it's quite ornate. It's milk glass, I believe. I paid eight dollars for that at the Goodwill store. I, I don't know. It's probably worth about twenty. Uh, what else? At the same estate sale where we got the basket, I got these things. They're little bottles in the shape of grapes. They have blue water, you know, blue food coloring with water in them. I poured it out. I was going to try to clean it, but it didn't clean well, so I'll probably just put that back. They didn't know what these were, and I don't either, but they gave them to me, and I thought they were cute. They must have liked grapes because they also had a candy mold that's in the shape of grapes. I think paid a dollar for that. Uh, 
Okay, another candy mold. This one came from the Goodwill for four dollars in the shape of hearts. This isn't old, but these things people like to hang up on their wall in their kitchen. They just look kind of give it a homey look. Okay, a Goodwill find. I think I paid a couple of dollars for this. Uh, I think it's an old potato masher and maybe meat tenderizer. We aren't sure, but it's definitely old, vintage, antique, and uh, I thought that was neat. I've got that. Okay, oh, where did I leave off? Over here. At uh, Empty Nest Estate Sales, you know, it's it's starting to warm up a little bit. There's a lot more estate sales, so we're, we're starting to be happy campers. Uh, we got there late. It was the day Uncle Vinti spilled the oil all over him, so it, that set us back a bit. We had to come home and clean him up before we could continue. But when we got there, there were some things left. I got a neat old Bon Ami tin for, I think I paid 50 cents for that. I got, this is West Virginia, some kind of collectible glass. I know you can't see this, but it does have some iridescence here in the flowers. Uh, she couldn't remember the name of what this was called, but I thought it was really a nice little glass basket. Just a little kitschy crock. I think I paid a quarter. They did have some carnival glass that was left, and I bought that. I bought these three small serving dishes, I guess they are. I'm not exactly sure what they're for. And then I've got seven of these glasses, and they actually are in their original box. I have two boxes of these. Now these are from the 70s, so I don't believe these have lead in them, so I think you can actually use these, and I think they're cute. All right, a Goodwill find, this old lady porcelain doll. I think I paid two bucks for her. I couldn't pass her by. I gotta find some neat old lady shoes for her though um, because I think um, I think someone would pay some decent money for her. She would sell well on eBay. I'll fix her hair. All right, Chesapeake Estate Sales. Uh, last day of, or second to last day of the sale. This is from 1992. This is a Mattel. African-American doll. I think she's really neat. These are somewhat collectible. I think I paid, what I paid, $4 for her. I paid six for the pair. $6 for the doll in the little, little wicker chair. I don't know if she goes in it, but they had her sitting in it. So I think she's pretty collectible, and I think I'll do okay with that. At uh, Bob of Annapolis, at his yard sale, or estate sale, a couple of books on wine. The Vintage Story of Wine. These, these are great. I think I paid 50 cents each for those. And this is a really nice book from the 70s on the Chesapeake Bay. Waterman Crabs in the Chesapeake Bay. Um, it's, it's a fabulous book. So I was delighted to get that. The bean pot. What bean pot? I already did that. Oh, you did? Okay. Mm -hmm. I didn't see that. I must have. All right. It doesn't warrant that much camera time. All right. <laughs> All right, if you'll look up on the wall behind here at the Empty Nest Estate Sale, these are needlepoint, the two on either end. Uh, the first day they were asking 25, 25 each. each, and I came back the second day when things are generally half price, and I that's what I got them, the two for 25. I think they're very nice, and I think they're Here's worth the at least 50. I think they're beautiful. They were made by someone who was quite skilled and, and quite old in West Virginia. The picture in the middle, I got at uh, another, yet another estate sale, the oil spill estate sale. And I'm not sure, this might have been the homeowner who did this. I just liked it. It was $5. It's on canvas. Uh, so I picked that one up. Okay. All right. We only have a couple of items left. This is either antique or vintage. This is... Um, Rug beater. No, 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 oh. no. I'm talking about this. Oh, okay. I'm trying to describe it. It's an antique. It's at least vintage, if not antique cradle. It's made out of pine and it has these little brass finials on either end. That was at the Goodwill. 
It was one of those days I hadn't found anything and I came around the corner and there it was. I ran over, picked it up, it's kind of heavy, and the price they gave me was eight bucks. I bought that for eight dollars. I couldn't believe it. Okay. Your rug beater. Rug beater. We went to an estate. This past weekend we were a day late and a dollar short the whole way. It's a good thing we didn't have a camera in the car because I was griping the whole time. We late to the yeah, first one. I was. We were late to the first one. There were maybe 30, 40 cars there when we arrived. So give it up. So then we drove to the next one that wasn't starting for what, another 30 minutes? And all those people that had been at the first one were already there. We were number what? 50. 50. Number 50. 47, 48, I think. So in we went. It was like a madhouse. I think they let too many people in. There were just people everywhere grabbing stuff left and right. And this is what I got. <laughs> this is about all I got. There were some really cool items there. Uh, in fact, there were some really neat items up on the wall, but they told us originally those weren't for sale. And then people proceeded to be climbing up and pulling them off and they sold it to them. So we should have done that. Anyway, it's a nice antique rug beater. I paid $5 for it. I have a bunch of these I hang up on the wall. They look kind of neat. Okay, a couple other items. From the estate sale, I modeled this for you, but as you can probably tell, that's a little bit too small for me. This is a vintage 50s poodle skirt. Needs to be cleaned. It's not in the best of shape, but you know, these were felt and kids wore those. You know, that's very cool. I think I paid a couple of dollars uh, for that. It does need a little bit of mending and cleaning, but I'm gonna do that and put that on eBay. From the Goodwill, a vintage Boy Scout shirt. This is made out of wool and it has these interesting buttons. Look at these buttons. They have these little clips that go through. It's kind of interesting. Anyway, and it has a couple of little badges on it and it says Worcester and the troop number. Now inside the pocket of that one was this. Obviously someone cut up the off the badges from the another shirt maybe they were going to sew them on here but this was in the pocket they have 36 37 38 39 and 40. don't know what the, that means but same thing i'm probably going to sell that 